Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about proving theorems on rectangle. We will prove theorems on rectangle. Rectangle ay isa sa mga kinds ng parallelogram. Recall muna natin yung definition ng parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. For example, we have parallelogram A, B, C, D. Alin dyan yung two pairs ng opposite sides na parallel? Una, line segment AB is parallel to line segment DC. Another pair is line segment AD is parallel to line segment BC. Kapag merong dalawang pairs ng opposite sides na parallel, that is parallelogram. Let us have the other properties of a parallelogram. The first one is opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Next, consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Third, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And four, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Itong properties ng parallelogram ay magagamit natin in proving theorems on different kinds of parallelogram. So, maging familiar sa mga properties ng parallelogram. Let's proceed to the first parallelogram. We have rectangle. Rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Let us have the theorems on rectangle. Meron tayong dalawang theorems on rectangle. Let us have theorem 1. If a parallelogram has one right angle, then it has four right angles and the parallelogram is a rectangle. The second theorem is the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Itong mga theorems na to ay ipuprove natin by having examples. Let us prove theorem 1. So, this is our first theorem. Let us have example. Given quadrilateral wins or WINS is a parallelogram and angle W is a right angle. We will prove that Angle I, angle N, and angle S are right angles. And quadrilateral wins is a rectangle. This is our figure. We have parallelogram W, I, N, S. Ang ipuprove natin, dalawa, angle I, angle N, and angle S are right angles. At saka, Quadrilateral WINS is a rectangle. To prove, gagamit tayo ng two-column proof. Sa first column, isusulat natin dito yung mga statements. Sa second column, isusulat natin dito yung mga reasons. Okay, so unang statement. Ang pagkukunan natin ng first statement ay dito sa ating given. Ilalagay natin, Quadrilateral WINS is a parallelogram and angle W is a right angle. Sa bawat statement na ilalagay natin, maglalagay din tayo ng reason. Ang reason natin sa number 1, since galing siya dito sa ating given, ang ilalagay natin ngayon ay given. For number 2, mula sa statement 1 natin na angle W is a right angle, masasabi natin na ang angle W is equal to 90 degrees. Ano ang reason natin? Ang reason natin is the definition of right angle. By definition of right angle, a right angle is an angle with a measurement of 90 degrees. Okay, proceed tayo sa statement number 3. 
Sa statement number 3, titignan natin ngayon itong ating parallelogram. Masasabi natin na ang angle W is congruent to angle N and angle I is congruent to angle S. Angle W is congruent to angle N. Ano ang relationship nila? They are opposite angles. Angle I and angle S are opposite angles. Ang magiging reason natin ay mula sa property of a parallelogram na in a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. For our fourth statement naman, since alam natin na ang angle W is congruent to angle N at ang angle I is, is congruent to angle S, masasabi natin na ang kanilang measurement ay equal. Ang measure ng angle W ay equal sa measure ng angle N. Ang measure ng angle I ay equal sa measure ng angle S. Ang reason natin, definition of congruent angles. By definition of congruent angles, ang congruent angles are angles with exactly the same measure. Now, proceed tayo sa statement number 5. Mula sa ating given sa statement 2 na angle W equals 90 degrees, isa substitute natin siya dito sa ating statement number 4 sa measure of angle W equals measure of angle N. Si measure of angle W, papalitan natin siya ng 90 degrees. Kaya, ang magiging statement number 5 natin is measure of angle N equals 90 degree. Yung ginawa natin, yun yung ilalagay nating reason by substitution. Ang SN means statement number. For statement number 6, babalik tayo dito sa ating parallelogram. Gagamitin natin ang isa sa mga property na measure of angle W plus measure of angle I equals 180 degrees. Ang angle W at angle I ay consecutive angles. From our one of the properties of a parallelogram na consecutive angles are supplementary. Ang sum ng dalawang angles ay equal siya sa 180 degrees. For our statement number 7, gagamitin natin ang statement number 2 at saka statement number 6. Yung angle W which is 90 degrees, isa substitute natin siya dito sa statement number 6. Ang magiging statement na natin is 90 degrees plus Measure of angle I equals 180 degrees. Reason, by substitution of statement number 2 and 6. So, from statement number 2, which is angle W equals 90 degrees, sinabstitute natin siya dito sa measure of angle W plus measure of angle I equals 180 degrees. Naging 90 degrees plus measure of angle I equals 180 degrees. Next, for our statement number 8, mula dito sa statement number 7, isosolve natin yung measure ng angle I. Ang gagamitin natin is the subtraction property of equality. So, subtract natin ng 90 both sides of the equation. So, 90, so subtract natin ng 90, 0 na yon. Ang maiwan na lang is measure of angle I. Dito sa right side, yung 180 degrees, so subtract natin ng 90 degrees, magiging 90 degrees na siya. 180 minus 90 is 90. So, for our statement number 8, Measure of angle I equals 90 degrees. Anong reason natin or yung ginawa natin? Gumamit tayo ng subtraction property sa statement number 7. Next, for statement number 9, mula dito sa ating statement number 8 na measure of angle I equals 90 degrees, 
isasubstitute natin siya dito sa statement number 4 na measure of angle I equals measure of angle S. So, kung ang measure ng angle I is 90 degrees, therefore, ang measure ng angle S natin is 90 degrees also. Ang reason natin is substitution of statement number 4 and 8. So, yung statement number 4 at statement number 8 yung ating ginamit. Okay, so balik tayo dito sa pinuprove natin na Ingle I, ingle N, and ingle S are right angles. Tignan natin ang statement number 5. Measure of ingle N is 90 degrees. Sa statement number 8, measure of ingle I is 90 degrees. Sa statement 9, measure of ingle S is 90 degrees. Sa statement 10 natin, we can say that ingle I, ingle N, and ingle S are right angles. Ang reason natin, if the measure of an angle is 90, then it is a right angle. So, dahil 90 degrees yan, siya rin ay right angle. And for our last statement, so pinuprove natin na ang quadrilateral WINS is a rectangle. So, yun yung ating next statement. Ano ang reason natin? Bakit natin nasabi na ang quadrilateral WINS is a rectangle? Ang reason is definition of rectangle. Balikan natin yung definition natin ng rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So kung meron siyang four right angles, siya ay rectangle. So naprove natin ang theorem 1. Pwede na natin gamitin itong theorem 1 sa pagpuprove kasi na-prove na. Dumako na tayo sa theorem number 2 sa theorems on rectangle. This is our theorem number 2. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So, let's have an activity para ma-prove natin. Example, ang given natin is quadrilateral WINS is a rectangle with diagonals line segment W and line segment SI. Prove that line segment W N is congruent to line segment SI. This is our figure. So, meron tayong Quadrilateral WINS, which is a rectangle, with diagonals WN at saka SI. Ipuprove natin ngayon na ang line segment WN ay congruent sa line segment SI. To prove, gagamit ulit tayo ng two-column proof. Ngayon, meron na tayong mga nakalagay sa statements at meron na rin nakalagay sa reasons. Ang gagawin na lang natin, either sa statement or sa reason na lang tayo maglalagay. For number one, ang meron na tayo is sa reason, ang nakalagay is given. So, ang ilalagay natin dito sa statement ay yung given na quadrilateral WINS is a rectangle with diagonals line segment W and SI. So, dito lang siya nang galing. For number 2, ang given is sa statement, line segment WS is congruent to line segment IN. So, tignan natin dito sa ating figure, ang line segment WS is congruent sa line segment IN. Anong property ng parallelogram ang ilalagay natin sa reason? Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Ayan. For number 3, ang given sa statement natin is angle WSN and angle INS are right angles. Ano ang ilalagay natin na reason? Nabanggit ko kanina na yung since yung theorem 1 natin is na prove na, pwede na natin siyang gawing reason. So, ang ilalagay natin is Theorem 1. If a parallelogram has one right angle, then it has four right angles. 
A parallelogram is a rectangle. So, since given na ang ating quadrilateral is a rectangle, therefore, meron siyang right angles. For number 4, ang reason na binigay ay all right angles are congruent. So, since congruent sila, ang ilalagay natin is yung measure ng angle WSN ay congruent sa measure ng angle INS. So, ayan. Meron na tayong symbol na ang w, angle WSN is congruent sa angle INS. For number 5, line segment SN is congruent to line segment NS. Tignan natin dito sa ating figure. Ang line segment SN is congruent to line segment NS. So, iisa lang ang tinutukoy. If A is equal to A, then ang reason natin is reflexive property. Tandaan, kapag yung isang given ay equal din sa kanya, ang reason natin is reflexive property. For number 6, since ang reason is SAS congruence postulate, titignan natin ngayon dito sa ating figure kung ano yung dalawang triangles na congruent. So, meron tayong side angle side. For the first one, this is the side angle and side. So, ito yung mga may congruent sa another triangle. So, ang ating unang triangle is this. Another triangle na merong side na to, angle, at side na to is the triangle here. So, what are the two triangles that are congruent? The two triangles that are congruent are triangle WSN at saka triangle INS by sas congruence postulate or side angle side. Since na-prove natin na yung dalawang triangles ay congruent, masasabi natin na ang line segment WN is congruent to line segment SI. Line segment WN, so yung isang diagonal ay congruent sa diagonal IS. Anong reason natin? Ang reason natin is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent or CPCTC. Pwede na lang nating ilagay na CPCTC ang ibig sabihin niya corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Ayan, na-prove na natin yung theorem 2. Na-prove na natin ang dalawang theorems ng rectangle. Ang next video natin is about proving theorems on rhombus. Thank you.